Today we are going to discuss GPAT 2019 MCQs from question 76 to 100. In our last video, we had discussed our questions from 51 to 75. So, let us start. 76 uh, roll tube technique is the modification of streak plate technique, micro manipulator technique, spread plate technique, or pore plate technique. These all techniques uh, belong to microbiology portion and these are used uh, uh, for <coughs> the cultivation, uh, the growth of bacteria. Here the roll tube technique, it is the modification of streak plate technique and in this way the streak plate method, uh, it is used for uh, isolation of um, anaerobes. <coughs> Next uh, 77, essentially hospital formulary system provide mechanism to improve quality and hygienicity of food or improve surgical procedures or avoid brand and therapeutic duplication or streamline prescription writing. Here the hospital formulary system uh, which especially refers to the pharmacy section, it is uh, generally used to provide mechanism to avoid brand and therapeutic duplication. And the formulary list uh, should have a num limited number of medicines, only those necessary to provide the needs of the hospital or clinic and duplication of these agents are <coughs> should not occur. 78. Sec well label must be placed on the containers of ophthalmic solution, gels, suspension or occurs. Here the sac well label must be placed on the containers of ophthalmic suspension okay. yeah, and it also be uh, needs to be placed on the containers of emulsions, liniments, lotions and uh, tinctures. 79. Dakin's solution is a synonym for chlorinated soda solution, aluminium acetate solution, ammonium acetate solution or chloroxylenol solution. Here a Dakin solution, it is a synonym for chlorinated soda solution or a, a sodium hypochloride solution. It is prepared by passing chlorine gas into a solution of sodium hydroxide or sodium carbonate. That is why it is called chlorinated soda solution. 80. In pre-formulation study, polymorphs can be detected by differential scanning calorimetry or DSC, retractometry counter current chromatography or high performance liquid, uh, liquid chromatography. In pre formation study polymorphs, polymorphs means uh, they have the same uh, molecular formula but their crystal structure is different. If some compound is having a different crystal structure then those different crystal structure can only be identified by DSC or differential scanning calorimetry. Here uh, two graphs are shown here, uh, in the graph which is shown in red, you can see it is a pure form of a crystal because there is a single peak, okay. its melting point is in a single peak and below the graph in the blue line there are two peaks, one, one peak is at around 165 and another peak is at around 185. So there are two melting points means there are two types of crystals in that compound. So in this way uh, DSC can find out whether there is polymorphism or a single crystal is there, it can find out. 81. A mixture of emulsifier A and emulsifier B with HLV values of 4 and 14 respectively are to be mixed in a pro proportion to get a mixture with required HLV 12. What is the weight of individual emulsifier that is to be taken to have a total weight of 7 gram? We have to identify those individual weights which will make the total weight 7 gram and their <coughs> average HLV value should be 12. So these are the various values and we have to find out the correct one. Here the correct one is answer number 4 and how this is answer number 4, let us see here. Uh, this is the formula uh, by which we can find out uh, HLV values, you know, we can find out average HLV values if uh, these, uh, uh, these are given. Uh, quantity emulsifier 1, HLB emulsifier 1, quantity emulsifier 2, HLB emulsifier 2 and uh, total quantity. 
if these are given then we can find out the average HLA value and by exploiting this formula we can find out uh, we can find out the weight of individual emulsifiers so you can use this formula and find out the weight of individual form formula uh, if this is question is given in another terms 82 the rheological and functional properties of synovial fluid are impaired due to decrease in the content of mucus increase in the content of hyaluronic acid increase in the content of mucus or decrease in the content of hyaluronic acid here the answer is uh, the synovial fluids rheological and functional property will be impaired if there is a decrease in content of hyaluronic acid here hyaluronic acid also called hyaluronan it is anionic non sulfated glycosaminoglycan it is a polymer of uh, you can call it glycosamino yeah amino glucose you can call it it is a polymer and these polymers uh, they can have uh, they can have <coughs> molecular weight of around uh, 20000 they can have uh, disaccharide monomers and they can have weight of around 3 to 4 million dalton or average they can have 7 million dalton for drug substances with highly variable pharmacokinetic characteristic the following bioequivalence study design is used non replicate design replicate design non parallel design or parallel design if we do, if we need to do bioequivalence study and there are uh, variable pharmacokinetic parameters or characteristic then we can use uh, replicate design can be used uh, it has the advantage of using a fewer subject along each subject should receive more treatment than in the two treatment crossover design and recommendations for replicate study designs and the average uh, bio equivalence approach method can be found in the guidance for industry on statistical approaches to establishing bioequivalence 84 theories of emulsification are characterized by one of the following except phase inversion film formation monomolecular adsorption or solid particle adsorption here uh, the question it states that theories of emulsification means it is talking about emulsion and emulsion it is a, a characteristic of liquid there can be phase inversion if it is oil in water it can go into water in oil there can be a formation of film in emulsion there can be a film of oil or film of water there can be monomolecular adsorption uh, oil molecules can be adsorbed in uh, polar uh, polar molecules or hydrophobic molecules can be adsorbed in lipophilic molecules but uh, solid particle adsorption this is the characteristic of uh, solid particles so uh, this will be our right answer in here and the solid particle adsorption uh, this can be classified into two modes physiosorption due to van der Waals force or chemisorption due to covalent metallic or ionic bonding 85 for bitter drugs in pediatric formulations excellent flavoring agent will be lemon syrup raspberry syrup black currant syrup or orange syrup here right answer is raspberry syrup look at this chart uh, from this chart you can identify uh, uh, what kind of uh, flavoring agent will be needed uh, if there is uh, these these types of product characteristic 86 uh, the protein toxins that have been modified to reduce toxicity without significantly altering the immunogenicity are known as toxoids vaccines sera or antisera here protein toxin if it is talking about toxins uh, it has it has been made less toxic okay and it needs to be ingested so that resistance uh, can be built up uh, for that toxin then it will be called as toxoids here the right answer is toxoids and a toxoid vaccine is prepared from endotoxins that have been inactivated or made non-toxic by heat or chemicals they can be injected safely to stimulate the production of antibodies that are capable of neutralizing the endotoxins of pathogens such as 
those that cause diphtheria and tetanus 87 leaching by immersion of crude material in a solvent is known as precipitation evaporation maceration or crystallization here leaching simply it means extraction and only one a term in these four points will explain extraction it is maceration so our right answer is maceration <coughs> leaching means to extract uh, something from a substance 88 the glycoside silicide in red is quill acts as insecticide molluscicide ascaricide or rodenticide <coughs> Here the glycoside, siluricide in the red screw acts as rodenticide used to kill rats. Uh, it is derived from the plant Dremia maritima. 89. In Cassia angustifolia, short term drought causes loss of leaf biomass, increases the concentration of cyanocide A and B, causes death of the plant or decreases the concentration of cyanocytes A and B. Here uh, if the drought is for short term, uh, there is a limited water for short term period, it will not cause the loss of leaves. It will just increase the concentration of cyanocyte A and B due to the stress uh, in the plant and cause the death of the plant for this long term drought uh, need to be made and decreases the concentration of cyanocyte A and B and for this condition also there must be long term drought. Short term drought will increase the concentration of cyanocyte A and B. Ok, next 90. Uh, Regolarinines A to F have been isolated from Veratrums, Kurchi, Econite or Erica. Here, Regolarinins it has been isolated from Kurchi. And the plant uh, its, its scientific name is Olarinia Olarina antidecentrica and it is known in English as bitter oleander. The size of lycopodium spores is 45 micron, 35 micron, 25 micron or 15 micron. The size of lycopodium spores is at around 35 micron or at around 33 micron. The lycopodium spores it is used in fireworks and explosives, fingerprint powders. It is also used as covering for pills, cream stabilizer and in quantitative microscopy. Selac is a resinous substance prepared from a secretion that encrusts the bodies of a scale. L. veritis mosquiferus, V. vera civet, Echipenser husu, or Caria leca. Selac is pre it is prepared from Caria leca, and this is the figure of that insect. Antiviral action of neem is due to azadirachtin, nimbin, camphorol, or nilanin. The antiviral action is shown by nimbin and nimbidin. There are two chemicals which also antiviral activity. 94. In Gambir fluorescent test, uh, the petroleum spirit layer shows a strong color. Which color is that? Yellow fluorescence, red fluorescence, green fluorescence, or blue fluorescence. In the test of Gambir, Gambir fluorescent test, the petroleum ether will show green fluorescence color. Here the test is performed, uh, mixture of alcoholic extract, sodium hydroxide solution and petroleum ether is shaken and kept for few minutes and after that the petroleum ether will show green fluorescence. 95. The principal cultivation areas of pyrethrum flowers are in Kenya, Malaysia, India or Sri Lanka. The principal cultivation areas of pyrethrum flowers are in Kenya. And the other countries which produce significantly uh, larger amount are Australia, Tanzania and Rwanda. 
96 pungency of gingiver officinal rhizome is due to the presence of gingerol gingerol comiforic acid or citral here the answer is gingerol <coughs> gingerols are phenolic compounds gingerols are the most abundant pungent compounds in fresh roots and several gingerols of various chain length are present in ginger with the most abundant being 6 ginger roll. 97. All members of this uh, order are trees or shrubs, mostly evergreen with needle like leaves, monoecious or dioecious sporophyllous, usually in cones, resin ducts occur in all parts. <coughs> it is um, cycadels or zincoels, taxels or coniferi. Uh, these all characteristics of this uh, herbs and trees belong to coniferi and these are the few examples of coniferous trees. 98. Metabolic acidosis does not occur during wound healing, chronic renal failure, starvation or uncontrolled diabetic mellitus. <coughs> Here metabolic acidosis uh, According to my uh, my research, I have I haven't found that during the wound healing process, metabolic acidosis will occur. In all these conditions, chronic renal failure, starvation, and uncontrolled diabetic mellitus. In these conditions, uh, metabolic acidosis can occur. But I haven't found that in wound healing. Um, in any article or in any book, they they have written that wound healing will cause metabolic acidosis according to my finding okay 99 the adverse reaction associated with beta 2 agonist administered by inhalation or nebulization in the management of asthma does not include tachycardia peripheral vasodilation fine tremor or hypertension here uh, the this will not cause hypertension it can cause tachycardia, it can cause peripheral vasodilation and fine tremor can also be there in case of beta 2 agonist but they will not cause hypertension. So this much for today, uh, see you in next video, thank you.